Okay, let's try uh, the second part of this problem. Uh, describe the following molecules as diatomic, triatomic, and or polyatomic. So, um, in chemistry, and in most things, uh, di, di means two, and atomic means atom. So, diatomic means a molecule composed of two atoms. Triatomic as it sounds, is three atoms, because tri means three, and polyatomic means, poly means many, so polyatomic means, in chemistry terms, uh, anything that's got two or more atoms. So let's try to designate these as diatomic, triatomic, and or polyatomic. Hopefully you can tell that anything that's diatomic or triatomic would also be polyatomic. You can keep going up. Usually after triatomic, you don't say tetra and penta and stuff like that. You just do um, poly. Right, so um, homoatomic, um, I mean, sorry, O2. Um, it's two atoms, right? Two oxygens. So it actually looks like this. Right? Two oxygens bonded together. So we say diatomic, and of course, these are all going to be polyatomic. Um, so two oxygens, one carbon, and carbon dioxide. Triatomic, and again, two or more. So it's poly, and then carbon monoxide, diatomic, and again, poly. Um, carbon dioxide, if you're wondering, looks like this. And carbon monoxide, very interesting, like we said before. Actually, we don't know anything about this, um, but that's a permanent dipole there. So, um, binds really well to hemoglobin because of that negative charge. That's why carbon monoxide kills you, actually. But anyways, uh, that's all beside the point. The most important thing for you guys right now is this diatomic, triatomic, polyatomic thing. And we'll try one more um, of these with our other example. 